I was working in the emergency department. Very busy Monday afternoon. Patients always come in after the weekend. A nurse rushed up to me. She had never done this before. She looked worried. She said, "Risa, can you go see the woman in room 11? She's really in a lot of pain." Talk about noise. Over the noise in the emergency department, I thought I had heard someone cry out. Normally, I walk fast. I walked super fast to room 11. When I walked in, a 20-year-old woman was crying in pain. She was trying to stay still because it hurt her to move. And when I pressed on her belly, she winced. I rolled the ultrasound machine into the room, placed a probe over her lower abdomen. I moved the probe to her right upper abdomen. On the screen, I saw black stripes in both places. Those black stripes meant blood. Life-threatening hemorrhage from a ruptured ectopic pregnancy until proven otherwise. Within minutes of arrival, her urine pregnancy test was positive, and she was in the operating room, diagnosed with a ruptured ectopic pregnancy and two liters of blood in her abdomen. She could have died. Previously, someone like this may have waited for hours. Someone like this would have to be transported outside the department for the ultrasound. I can share other stories where ultrasound made a difference with patient care. There was the elderly gentleman. He collapsed. When the large artery in his abdomen, the aorta ruptured. I saw this with ultrasound. We rushed him to the operating room, and he was saved. The young Rwandan patient in Kigali. He had been coughing and losing weight. With ultrasound, I saw his lung tissue floating in fluid. And with ultrasound, we guided the needle to withdraw fluid and confirm a diagnosis of tuberculosis. This is my practice now, but this was not always my practice. Just over a decade ago, these same patients may not have received the same expedient and life-saving care that they do today, thanks to ultrasound performed at the bedside. Ultrasound performed at the point of care, performed, visualized on a screen, interpreted, and then integrated at that time of patient care. Now, when I decided to do training in ultrasound, there were less than five fellowships in the country. Now there are over 90. The field was not well developed, and the field was not obviously promising. I had heard the stories, though, from friends who had used point-of-care ultrasound in Ethiopia, Kosovo, Sierra Leone, and Indonesia. One particular friend used point-of-care ultrasound in his training in the 1980s at a Los Angeles County hospital. He actually said to me, "Risa Lewis, why are you doing training in ultrasound? Ultrasound has not gone anywhere, and it's not going to go anywhere." But I knew there was something valuable. And the potential only seemed to be expanding. Some people may assume that this expansion came about well because technological progress is automatic and inherent, isn't it? Some people may think, I'm sure the companies were always working to make the machinery smaller, lighter, more powerful, more useful. In my experience, this is not what actually happened. It was the people in medicine, such as emergency physicians, who saw a greater role for point of care. They saw a solution in remote settings, resource scarce environments, emergency situations, even non-critical situations. This was a safe, game-changing technology for everyday care. From what I observed, the technology did not drive the vision. The vision. Drove the technology, and it was the people who drove this evolution and said, "Wait, there's something meaningful." Where are we going then with point-of-care ultrasound? Well, yes, the hardware will be smaller, lighter, cheaper, more powerful, more useful. Probes will be wireless, or you can connect them to your smartphone, as long as well as download the software. 
three-dimensional ultrasound with motion, called four-dimensional ultrasound, wearable ultrasound, target guidance for ultrasound for the administration of medications and procedures. Nurses will ultrasound patients at triage. Medical students are already learning point-of-care ultrasound during the first year of their medical training. Maybe you will ultrasound yourself at the local pharmacy. Disruptive innovation is about vision first, not technology first. And point-of-care ultrasound is one of the most positively disruptive innovations to hit healthcare in a very long time. Thank you very much.